Good morning. Just a brief disclaimer before we begin our morning prayer. We didn't forget our nurses yesterday. Next week, when we're in person on May 12th, the world celebrates International Nurses Day, and we'll be thanking them and praying for them on that day. Also, because it's still the Easter season, and we're going to be celebrating Mother's Day this weekend, there's a little Easter egg in here. Hope you find it and enjoy it. So now let us put ourselves in a prayerful posture this morning and listen to how God is calling us this day. I ask you to please keep in your intentions this day, the intentions of Pope Francis, Bishop Cecchio, our seminarian Jonas, and all mothers living and deceased. As we continue our prayer from the faculty and staff this week, it is my pleasure to introduce to you this day, Miss Lauren Arevalo. Sunday is Mother's Day, a day where we celebrate all moms and motherly influences in our lives. Mothers come in all shapes and sizes. Some mothers are birth mothers, some are adoptive. Some mothers are the grandmas or aunts who raised us. Some are expecting the birth of their child, and others are new moms like myself. Some moms are raising families with a spouse, and others are single parents. Some have left us too soon, but have received eternal life in Christ. Either way, moms of all walks of life will be celebrated by their families this weekend in a variety of ways. There will be flowers, candies, gifts, visits, and phone calls, all of which are meant to show our moms how much we love and care for them. As Catholics, we value this nurturing relationship so highly that we call our church Holy Mother, and we praise Mary, the mother of Jesus, for her pivotal role in the life of our Savior. With a mother's care, she raised her one and only son and lived the joys and grief that only a mother's heart can know. For this reason, we see Mary as the great symbol of motherhood and as our role model. This Mother's Day, and always, it's important for us to ask Mary to guide all of our mothers in their endeavors of motherhood. We pray that they embody the Holy Mother and all she stands for. This is more important than any flowers or chocolates we can offer. So today, let us be grateful for all mothers who have nurtured us, supported us, and loved us through life. With this in mind, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please remain focused for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 